then the manifestation of the subject's own truth is the very path to the salvation of his soul. Salvation will take place at this time, first in relation to life, when baptism becomes the access to a truer life and therefore a form of death from the old life. The goal is to die to the life of sin and to be reborn to a life without sin. At the same time, dying for the life of man and being reborn for eternal life. To live in the likeness of God. But to live in that life means to live a Christian life under the sign of a constant mortification. The Christian subject here is the one who will continually live in a way as to give voluntary, applied, continuous death to everything that in the soul or in the body can bind us to sin. This life of mortification is ended only by death itself. Baptism, like death and resurrection, is no longer simply an entry into the Christian life, but is a permanent matrix of that life. The Christian subject, then, is the one who will continually mortify everything that may refer to sin. Mortification is his continuous work.